Hi, it's Bruce. It's Saturday, uh, May 16th, 2009. Bill uh, and I saw two shows last weekend, actually, and I didn't get a chance to blog. There was people in from out of town we went out with, and this weekend we have company, and I just been behind in my blogs, and I feel very bad about that because I did see a show that we had put off for a uh, quite a while because I had mixed uh, feelings about it, didn't know if I'd like it too much. All these other shows opened and uh, now it's closing uh, May 21st and it's 33 Variations with Jane Fonda and I wish I could have blogged about it last week to give people a, more of a heads up about the closing uh, and I wish I had seen it earlier in the run because it turns out I really like 33 Variations. It's by Moises Kaufman who wrote the Laramie Project, put that together. And uh, it's a very interesting piece during the phenomenal Jane Fonda, who's just incredible. Uh, this, uh, I just say, if, you know, you want to see a pretty good drama. It may not be the best of the year, but it's, uh, it was much better than I thought. The great cast, Jane Fonda, Samantha Mathis, Colin Hanks, and Zach Grenier as uh, Beethoven. Uh, it's a, kind of a downer play, a woman dying of uh, Lou Gehrig's disease who's a musicologist who's spending her last ounces of her life trying to figure out the motivation of Beethoven spending his last hours of his life uh, working on these 33 variations. Excellent, uh, excellent production values, well directed, great performance by Jane Fonda and cast. Um, so if you, you got, if you got it free the next couple of days, I'd say check it out. It's on the TDF, it's on half price, there's discounts all over. Uh, really surprised me how much I liked it. Now last Friday, Bill and I saw Everyday Rapture, a one-woman show written by Sherry Renee Scott and uh, our old friend Dick Scanlon, who wrote uh, Thirdly Modern Melly, and uh, starring Sherry Renee Scott. It's uh, more or less a one-woman show. That's a misnomer because there's three other people in it. She has a couple backup girls and a surprise uh, guest. And her story of growing up in Kansas in well, the Bible Belt, but she, of course, was, uh, as she says, half Mennonite, and, uh, which is next to Amish, you know, so uh, you're not supposed to be uh, singing, dancing, and doing theatrical things. So it's a very funny show. Uh, she's incredibly talented, if you've seen her in um, uh, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels or Debbie Does Dallas Off-Broadway. She's a most amiable performer with a sacco voice. Uh, she's front and center in 90 minutes, uh, does a powerhouse job telling her story very humorously. And uh, I give credit to Michael Mayer for directing it and making it a fast 90 minutes, very entertaining. And Tom Kitt, uh, who wrote Next to Normal, composed Next to Normal, uh, did the musical supervision and orchestrations. Uh, now, I think I might have said, but I'm not sure if I said Dick Scanlon and Sherry Renee Scott did the book, and Dick Scanlon's an old friend from the original cast of Pageant, and also did uh, Thoroughly Modern Millie, uh, writing it. So, uh, it's running through June 14th, I think, at this point. All the shows are at 7, and that was great, because the Friday show at 7, you know, we're out by after, a little after 8.30. Uh, so, if you want to see a Dynamite performance by Sherry Renee Scott. It's really, I thought, was one, one, of the, one of the best musicals of the year. It's not just a one-woman show, it's a musical. So, I highly recommend that. And the Tony nominations came out a while ago, so I want to talk a little about that. Unfortunately, I still haven't seen all productions. I know I go to the theater a lot, but it's been so hard to get the Norman Conquests in. We hope to in the next few weeks. I haven't seen Joe Turner and haven't seen 9 to 5. So I can't really speak definitively about this, but I'm going to give you my humble uh, estimation of what's going on so far. I'm just going to pick some of the major categories and tell you how I think they stack up. Best play uh, is, to me, between God of Carnage and Reasons to be Pretty. I'm sticking up for Reasons to be Pretty. I'm a real Reasons to be Pretty fan. My uh, Bill's nephew saw it last night and loved it. I think it's going to be God of Carnage. It just has the... Uh, art uh, cleverness thing going for it, but I really think better play is reasons to be pretty, and I'd love to see an upset there, but uh, Best Musical will be Billy Elliot, no ifs, ands, or buts, 
uh, I'd love to see uh, Next to Normal uh, win a few things, but uh, Next to Normal I don't think it's going to be Best Musical. Uh, best Score, I think El Elton John had it in the bag. I'm not quite sure now because the Next to Normal score and the CD are really great. And it's new, it's rock, um, rock-ish, pop theater, and uh, I'd sort of like to see uh, Tom Kitt and Brian uh, Yorkie, uh, yes, Yorkie, the print is really tiny on this, uh, win for Billy, uh, for uh, Next to Normal, but I wouldn't bet on that. Uh, Play Revival, two major ones I haven't seen. I, I've seen Waiting for Godot, and uh, Mary Stewart, both I loved. I think it's going to go to the Norman Conquest, and I just, it's three plays, and I just can't get it in with all this company and stuff. Uh, revival. It's between West Side Story and Hair. I think, honestly, it's going for Hair. I haven't seen West Side Story. That's another major production I haven't seen, but um, Hair was just a bang-up blowout. I loved it. Uh, actor in a play. This is Jeffrey Rush's To Lose. Jeffrey Rush in Exit of the King. I, I, when I reviewed Exit of the King, I said it was one of the best performances I've ever seen ever, and it's true. Actress in a play, oh, flip a quarter. The only one who probably couldn't win would be Hope Davis, who's wonderful in God of Carnage. But uh, Jane Fonda is wonderful. Marcia Gay Harden, I think, was one of the best things in <coughs> God of Carnage. And Jenna McTeer and Harriet Walter as Mary and Elizabeth in... Um, Mary Stewart. I'd sort of give it to Harriet Walter, but I'm not sure. Uh, could be Marcia, could be Jane. I, I couldn't even begin to predict. After in a musical, the three kids from Billy Elliot, I think, are pretty much a shoe-in. Alice Ripley as actress in a musical. She's a friend of mine. I think she's pretty much a shoe-in. Uh, Alice and Janney uh, got some good reviews in 9 to 5 and is a beloved actress. So look for an upset there, oh, for, <coughs> but hopefully Alice will get it. I'm talking so fast. Got to get this in. Angela Lansbury, I think she's got a lock on uh, featured actress in a play. Featured actor in a play. I haven't seen Norman Conquest and uh, Joe Turner, and that's three nominations there. So um, I'm going with almost the speechless John Glover in Waiting for Gajo. But that, that I couldn't even begin to begin to uh, guess. Uh, featured actor in a musical, i like to see Will Swenson from Hair, because I know him. Christopher Sieber has a chance, uh, Greg Jabara could probably win that for Billy Elliot. Uh, Christopher Sieber and Shrek. Featured actress in a musical is between Hayden Gwynn for Billy Elliot, <coughs> excuse me, and Karen Olivo for West Side Story as Anita. I haven't seen it. Uh, flip a coin there. I think if it's a Billy Elliot sweep, Hayden's got it. And uh, director, I'll end with that. I think Matthew Warkus has it. He has two nominations unless he splits it. I think he'll get it for the Norman Conquest. And um, uh, Stephen Daldry has a pretty much lock on, I think, Billy Elliot. Okay, so I can't wait for the Tonys. That's my beginning of my predictions. Hopefully in the next two weeks I can see some more of these shows. It's hard work out there. It's hard for a... What did I say? Hard for a pimp? Is that the Oscar winning song? Hard out there for a pimp. It's hard out there for a theater goer. So much to see. Okay, have a good weekend.